The first step in most of my SketchUp work is to import a picture of the piece of furniture to be reproduced. In this case, I'll import my rendition of Kettle's drawing shown in his book. First, click on Front View in the Views toolbar. Click on File Import and click on the drawing. Note that Use as Image is checked on the right side of this dialog box. With a mouse, move the corner of the image to the origin and click the mouse. Now move the mouse up to make the image any size and click. Zoom in to the longest dimension in the drawing, in this case 20 inches. Choose the Tape Measure tool, tap the control key, and click on one end of the dimension, then on the other end. The measured length is seen in the measurements box at 21, 20, 21 and 7 eighths inch. We want 20, so type 20, hit enter, and see the dialog box asking, do you want to resize the model? Click on yes, and the picture will now be full size. Now to begin tracing over the shape of the end component in the picture. First, with the line tool, draw a line along the bottom edge of the end. Then continue with a vertical line on the front edge of the end. I, I can't remember the length of this edge the height of the end. So let's have a look at the dimensions over here. 9 plus 4 and a quarter equal 13 and a quarter. So type 13 and a quarter, hit enter for the full height of the end. Next, place a guideline to the midpoint of the end. That's 4 inches. Since the end is symmetrical, we only need to make one half of the shape. Make another guideline one and a quarter inches from the front edge. Choose the line tool and draw a vertical line one quarter inch long. Then choose the arc tool and begin to create the cutout shape. This will take multiple connected arcs. Note the cyan color indicates a tangent connection. That's what you want. And place the last arc up to the center line guideline and click. Use the line tool to close in this shape. A line across the top edge to the center line and then a vertical line down the center line. A face appears for the traceover. Erase the guidelines double click on the face to select the edges and the face, right click and pick Make Group from the menu. With the Move tool, tap the Control key and copy the group down the red axis. Lower it as well down to the red axis. Click And that completes this video, and the next will be to continue developing the end components.